Hey guys, Sam here with a review on Magicka. Now, this isn't your normal game. You do go through adventures and there are many robes to choose from for your character. Now, that being said, your robes is a character custom. You just pick a robe, you pick a color, you go through your adventure. Besides that, there's not much customizing your guy. But there are many modes to from. Of, as a vampire, as a Vietnam guy, it's extremely fun. There's a whole bunch of quests and a whole bunch of things you can do. And the game never gets boring. Now there is online multiplayer, as you saw a little glance of, but it's not really as alive as it should be. And this game is mostly set on single player, which is fun. And there are millions of modes as I said, and they're all fun. Now talking about the game itself, it is extremely hard. You wouldn't guess it at first, but once you start playing it, you're gonna be like, whoa, 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 what, what, what is this? But yeah, I died millions of times trying to get used to it. It is a hard game to get used to. Now the characters do sort of talk. They slur words and they make noises and every once in a while you will hear an actual word. This is a cartoony game, but it looks up for a cartoony game. The whole ability and, or spell thing that they have on here is incredible. You can mix match, you could make stack all rocks and just use those skills or spells just to destroy oh, monsters all the way building a bridge walking over water drying yourself off they really made the spells that you have to use them for a mobile game now the game itself is an adventure sort of <clears throat> being told by Vlad he is sort of the narrator in this story, um, and you are the main person, character in the story. Now, this is a funny game. The characters say are hilarious. Sometimes not so much, but most of the time it just kept me laughing. It is hard to get used to, and so many obstacles that you will go through that just make this game extremely fun. It is, like I said, an adventure, so it's not that open world, but there's so much you could explore and so many hidden things that just make it a whole more fun. There are villages in the game itself, so you will villages, you could talk to people there, you could just walk around, look around, and there are chapters to this which are the level now there are mini bosses and bosses throughout this whole game and the challenges are incredibly hard i can't like say this anymore than it should be this game is wow. really hard to get used to like you might think you might run through this game through an hour you're not you're gonna spend hours if not a few days trying to win a whole and it's not because it's hard to get used to skills it is but you die so easy and it makes you just think more about what skills to use at what time and it's all about timing now there are secret places to go so that you could find out new spells to make as you can see right now, you could build an ice bridge slash water to go from one side to another. There are some stupid things that you might do and, you know, fall through the water and die since your character can't swim. But exploring is a big part of it. Exploring will give you new spells, new missions to do, new spells, and it just makes the game feel more open. And not just go here, run here, 
get this, kill this. Talking about fighting, this game is also not so much about grinding. You don't need to grind at all, which makes it real cool. Because you don't want a game where your first 20 missions are goblins over and over and over again. And that just doesn't make it fun. This game is real varied on its mission. Like what to do, where to go. Now, if you do pay attention to the storyline, it is uh it is nice the actual storyline in the game like where the characters are talking to you hey look i'm getting killed this and that isn't as pleasuring as the actual story itself that vlad's talking now it's that this is a great game i mean i played it for hours and i will still play for hours there's so many spell combinations that i'm pretty sure you will never remember all of them there are obstacles that you just gotta go through and sometimes figure it out at first sometimes it takes you so long there are checkpoints in this game and when you checkpoint you do get a fairy which revives you on the spot but sometimes reviving you isn't that easy the characters the NPCs can still while you're trying to revive also there are little quests here and there for you to do and it's always fun you know after you die being like oh wow I could have done this I could have done that and just starting all over again but honestly this is just a fun game beginning to the end and if you get bored of adventure you click the other adventure you get bored of that go to Vietnam there's a demons and dungeons one there's a vampire one I'm not sure what that's called but I found that the most fun and you're just a vampire adventure now fighting boss and playing through this you do need to think about it I did kill most of my own helpers trying to kill this goblin as you can see I start off with like a million ended up with three and it really takes a lot to get used to the game but once you do and after the first chapter it, the game just gets you hooked and you just want to play through it over and over and over again also there's not much repetitive in this game you don't see the same you know villages and stuff over and over and over again and with that I could say this is at least an 8 out of 10 game and I would recommend for anybody that could spare some money to definitely get it and play through it and this was my review and my take on Magicka seriously guys if you haven't played this game play it as they approached Fawnskugger Forest, it became clear that there was evil afoot.